America is the land of opportunity, not just for adults, but for children as well. Our schools are filled with the children of immigrants who have left their home countries looking for a better life, not only for themselves, but for their children, our children. Here are some of their stories. My dad wanted a better life for me. The schools in my home country are not good. They don't have projectors like we have here. No computers or learning materials. No books. The teachers don't care about the students. I traveled with my dad and others for three days to reach the Mexican border. Once we got there, we had to sleep in an abandoned house for days. The train ride we took to the U.S. border wasn't what you would expect. We rode on top of the train, not in it. My dad had to tie me to the top of the train with his belt so that I wouldn't fall off at night when we slept. When we start school at Lakota, we often don't speak English. The Spanish that is taught in schools may not be exactly what we speak. There are many different ways to say the same thing in Spanish, just like English. Think of soda versus pop or sneakers versus tennis shoes. Have patience with us. We want to learn. I'm not lazy. Sometimes I don't understand what you're asking me to do, and I get frustrated by that. It's not that I don't want to do the work. I just don't understand what you're telling me. When a class is taught in English, giving me the exam in Spanish doesn't always help. It's sometimes confusing to be given a test in Spanish when we've learned the material in English. I'm going to graduate from Lakota. I never thought that I would graduate. My mom and dad wanted a better education for me, and that is why we moved here. Sometimes I get frustrated when I don't understand, but I try because graduation is something that I will achieve with your help. This is my story. I came to the United States when I was five years old with my older brother and complete strangers. School was confusing for me at first, and I felt very alone. I struggled to know what was going on. I would see and meet students who spoke Spanish, but they didn't want to be my friends. Please understand that kids like me can learn. Please do not lose your patience with us. We are your kids, your students, and we want to learn. I have seen a lot of students like me who want to be a part of the class and learn and talk to our teachers. Please do not give up on students who don't get it the first time or the second time. Take the time to be patient and listen to us like we matter. So I came to the United States when I was five years old. My parents wanted me to have a better life than what they believed I would have in El Salvador. School was hard for me. My ESL supports were limited and nobody in my school spoke my language. I remember in the fifth grade, I got picked to read a book to the kindergartners. I was so proud of myself for being picked, even though I didn't speak English well. I know that today, our schools are trying to do more for our kids, but I still see the struggle that the students go through. There are more ESL teachers and even more awareness, but the population is also bigger. I want our teachers to know that our kids in ESL can learn and want to learn. They just speak another language. Don't let that stop you from helping them. We need to make the kids feel like they're part of our school. Choose them to be part of activities, ask them questions, and listen to what they have to say. These are our students, our kids. We need to always remember that. Spanish is just one of 54 different languages spoken in our schools, but diversity in Lakota comes in many different forms. We all have different stories and different backgrounds. And that's not only okay, it's what makes Lakota a great school district. Today, almost 6% of Lakota students speak English as a second language. In some schools, the percentage of ESL students is as high as 20%. 11% of students speak a language different than English at home. And three out of 10 students are non-Caucasian of different ethnic backgrounds. Two out of 10 students are economically disadvantaged. Nearly 13% of our students receive services for a cognitive or physical disability. And 36% are identified as gifted in at least one area. Womenshi Lakota. Newsom Lakota. Bees Lakota. Mu Lakota. Somos Lakota. 
We are Lakota.